Hey everyone, I'm going to do a review of something I've done a review of before. But it's okay because I think it's important to do this review and I'll tell you why. Uh, first of all, I would like to say I need to calm my little hairs down. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, I did just get it colored and they did it kind of stripey, which I love. They said, you know, we don't want you to look like a skunk. I'm like, it's okay. I want to look like a skunk. It's okay. That's the look I want. I want stripes. I don't want to frosted look. I want a straight look. So, and then right after that, I went and got my nails done. She always does such a good job, you guys. Is that not a perfect nail job? That is so pretty to me. I love it. I'm not going to tell you her name or where she is, because then you will be there, and I will never be able to get an appointment. I was kind of selfish. Her name is Shraylin, and she's at Superb Nails. But I'm not going to tell you the city. <laughs> okay. So, what do I want to talk to you about? Okay, I've reviewed these before, but I got a new one, and I thought, you know, I'm going to line these up, and I am going to review them in your face, like a good reviewer would. Am I missing any? No. Okay, these are my top five lip balms, and the reason I want to tell you about them is because... I really do feel like there is a difference between them, and I'm going to tell you what my favorite is, I think. I'm not going to, I'm wondering if I should tell you my favorite, or if I should just let you go try them all. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Um, part of the reason we do this on YouTube is to try to um, help you not waste the money we waste on products trying stuff. Y'all, there's like this little fly away here thing going on here. Is it too much? whatever. Okay. Some of the ones I've shown you before, and I'll show you the very first one, which was my um, Kristen Dior Creme de Rose. And this is a rose, literally smells like rose petals, which I think normally for like an air freshener or a potpourri is wonderful. But for my lips, I'm not crazy about it. I know there's some people on YouTube that love this. Um, but I would have to tell you, there's only two things I love about this, but they're pretty strong things. The packaging. This is almost like a ceramic. This isn't, or it doesn't feel like plastic. It may be, but it, it almost feels ceramic. You see it's got even the beaded edges. There's a lot of detail to this, so it seems very, very nice. Also, it smells like roses, if you like that sort of thing. Also, the color's pink. And also, it's very, very rich. Why does that matter? Well, I have, um, remember I have hauled before my Chanel Le Lift Cream Riche. And there's the fine, and there's a the medium, and then there's the Riche. And I have to tell you, putting that Riche on my face, it's a thicker, creamier, but it's not sticky. It, more, it absorbs fairly quickly to be so rich. Riche. Um, but this is very Riche. This is very rich. That's the difference in this one. And so I think now, I'll tell you I have product on my lips already, so this probably isn't a really good haul as far as me telling you what I feel like. Especially once I put one on, then I would have to take it all completely off and to put another one on. But I can tell you that this does have a rich feel. Um, you know, some people act like it kind of lasts forever. I don't think so, but I think it's, it's a great product. It's certainly luxurious. It's Christian Dior, and so both the packaging, the brand name, but I have to tell you, and the actual product seem very rich. As far as what's in it, <clears throat> I know some people will read this off to you. I'm not going to read you all the, the ingredients, but I will say it's a smoothing and a plumping lip balm. So whatever it is they put in there to make your lips plump and smooth, it's in there. Do I feel it? Nope. I can't know. Not even a little tingly. Matter of fact, when I do Le Buxom lip gloss, that's when I feel the tingly. But anyway, I'm going to tell you about something new I got that has the tingly. Okay, so second, one of the things that I showed you, when I felt like, number one, that was really expensive, and number two, I did not like the smell of roses in my lip product. Just like I don't like to drink tea that has a smell of florals. I like to smell spices, food, but not florals. I don't want jasmine in my tea. It's like, yuck, I'm eating a flower, which I don't know when I'm having a salad. I actually like that. I've eaten dandelion, arugula, things like that. But anyway, so I heard from, uh, who was it? Oh, Miss Glamorazzi 
had tried this Soap and Glory, a great kisser. What do I love about this? People say it's such cute packaging. I don't think it's cute. It's retro. I'm not into the 50s. I'm not into retro. So I guess if you are into that, especially if you're younger, the 50s seems like way back for you. That wasn't that long ago. I mean, I wasn't alive, but still. I mean, when we were growing up, we always played around with, you know, dressing up like the 50s or whatever. But I've just never been a big fan of retro. That's why I don't like Art Deco. Um, because it's from the 20s, and also the, the geometric shapes of most things in art at that period. But I don't really like those things. What I do like about this product is twofold. This is um, metal, by the way. It's a metal tin. And the smell. It smells like fresh peaches. That's the color. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's more peach colored than pink, and it's extremely, see how, look how juicy that is extremely glossy what would I say about that it seems to come off easy the other one that Christian Dewar was richer but I still like this one better because it has a taste a better taste actually tastes tastes like peaches looks like peaches and smells like peaches and is very moisturizing after that I decided oh I, I'm also a member of Ipsy and you get a little glam bag every month, and it gets five products for $10, which, no joke, you get full-size samples. Sometimes you just get almost a travel size of the product, and that is a pretty incredible deal for some of the products that you get. Because you get to pick the, the um, product brands that you want. So, And I'm not sponsored <laughs> by anybody. But I will tell you, I do like Ipsy better than the other boxes, like Birch Box or, I don't know, there's probably a lot out there, a little black bag and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I guess they all have their pluses. I don't have those subscriptions, but I've seen people who do, and I, I think there's some kind of cute stuff to it. I don't, with like, with I think a little black bag, you had to bid? Who has time for bidding? Just send me what I want. But anyway. This was one of my samples, and it is the Derm Store Lip Quench, which is a moisturized, moisture-infused lip treatment, like a lip balm. And it smells like, mm, almost like a faint eucalyptus. So it's not citrus, it's more herbal, but it's very definitely, um, hold on, I don't know, <gasps> I'm putting on each product. I'm going to have like gooky lips by the time through. Almost tastes and smells like pine trees. But I don't like it. I don't know if any of you remember, um, there was a product that came out. Um, it was an Acme. It was called oh, Melaleuca Oil. And it was, in all, it was put in all kinds of products, and it was a Melaleuca tree, and it was very much like a pine tree. And that oil was very much, I guess, like they're talking about argon oil now or Moroccan oil or whatever. It was just like the thing. And they even put it in toothpaste. And I like that toothpaste better than any toothpaste because it did not taste like mint. I actually liked it a lot. But um, this has a very moisturizing feeling. Definitely this scent is different than any of the others. This is a tube where there are pots. And I like that because it's pliable because it's got that kind of tip that you can rub it right across the lips, where these, you have to put your finger in. You think, well, why does that matter? Nails, when you go down into a pot, it gets under your nails. It's gross. So, I don't really like pots. Anyway. Okay, the third thing that I got was, I don't have it here, but it was the Chanel Hydra, Hydra Max Nutrition something. And it was in a square... So that was very unique that it was in a square. But it smelled like soap. And even though it was probably very moisturizing, I could not get past it. Also, it seemed a bit thin for Chanel. I expected something a little richer. So I gave it away to a friend who had given me. She got some um, Coco Chanel perfume. She didn't like it. She says, do you like this? I'm like, oh, I love it. She goes, well, you can have it. Sometimes give me a, uh, a little treat. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, because we all know Chanel's not cheap. So... Um, I took it and I thought, you know what? I'm going to wait till the next time I get some lip balm and I'm going to buy an extra one for her. And I didn't even have to because when I finally got the Hydro Max, I did one little swipe on it and said, I just don't like the smell. It's too soapy for me. It's too 
I don't know. I can't really describe it. And so I gave it to her and I said, look, I did swipe this, so you'll need to get an alcohol wipe and swipe the top just for cleanliness. But I have not used used this. And if you like it, then it is Chanel. And, I, you know, you might want to try it. She fell in love with it. So I went back to the Chanel website and said, is there any other kind of lip balms? And there is, they call it lip care. And it's the Hydra Beauty Nourishing Lip Care. That's what they call it. And it's the round one, if that helps you any. Now, this one doesn't have much of a scent. But the scent that it does have, I like. It's um, kind of a clear to vanilla color. It's not pink. And as far as richness, it's very, it's more waxy than greasy. Yeah, I've got so much lip stuff on now, I can't even tell the difference. But I like this a lot. So for those of you, by the way, I think it was Elle Fowler said that she had heard that um, the Kristen Dior was going to be discontinued. I can't even remotely understand that because it's such a popular product. Why would they get rid of something in their line that is one of their best-selling items? Except that it's not so best-selling as you might think. Anyway, this is the Chanel, uh, I guess, version of that. And I would say that this is better anyway. That's just me. Now, if you just love the smell of roses, you might want to just Google rose smelling lip balms, and I guarantee you'll find something, so don't worry about it. All right, so then the next thing that I got, I'm a big Josie Marin fan because her products are all natural. Someone told me you can eat them, and someone else told me you can even eat their packaging. You wouldn't want to, but if you had to, you could. It's that natural, every bit of it. She's that conscientious. I don't know if that's true. Seriously, eat the packaging. It's a little genie bottle. This is so cute. It wins for packaging. It does. It looks like an I Dream of Genie Bottle. I'm happy you don't know what I'm talking about because it's from my era. But there was a TV show. I think it's now on Nick at Night or well, no, it's on Me TV. I Dream of Genie. It was Barbara Eden, and she was like the sexiest thing that ever came along in our era, and you didn't dress like her, but she got away with it because she was a genie. And she was served her master, and she granted his wishes and demands, and, and then other times he didn't want her to use her magic. Sort of like Samantha Stevens and Darren on Bewitched. But anyway, there's a lot of witchcraft when I was growing up. But anyway, this is the Josie Marin Argon Lip Treatment. Now, all these bombs, treatments, what else are they calling it? I don't know. I don't know. Care, lip care. This, to me, feels like a true lip care product. And it has a very unusual smell. I remember before I told you it smelled like cherries. It's not cherries. She says it is green apple. And now that I smell it, it is green apple. And it is so wonderful. That is a little tiny. Now, let me show you the size difference. It's significant. Oh, my gosh. It's tiny. And it's very different in consistency, so don't be surprised. It's a little greasier. But it's actual. See this? I accidentally chunked it out with my nail. And not only that, there is some roughness to this. Can you see that? Can you see the little chunks? See them? You can. Even on my terrible camera. I'm going to be investing in a camera, by the way. See that? I don't know. Because it's not a lip scrub. You know, a lot of lip scrubs have sugar in them. And you can taste it. You can taste the scrub. Like when I do my Victoria's Secret um, Pure Seduction Facial Scrub, and I scrub my face, when the water runs over my face, I can taste sugar in it. Why? Well, for one thing, it makes it very pleasurable because when it runs over your mouth, there's something sweet. They're not stupid. And also because sugar is pretty rough. It's a good exfoliant. So I like sea salt. So anyway, this is something I need to read up on it and see what's in it. But no kidding. Look at that. You see the product? You see little things on there? It's like salt or, um, actually, it's more like sugar. I wonder what it is. I'll have to read. But anyway, when I put it on, I can feel the little pieces, and then all of a sudden, they just melt. I don't know. That would imply it's sugar, not salt. Because that does, salt doesn't melt, but sugar does. Anyway, 
it does feel oilier, but it's a light sheer oil. It's not like gooky or where it meets your lips because it's gooky. It's really good. And I have to tell you, of all the products, I think this is probably the best for your lips. But today I got something new. No. Yes. Today I got... I'm looking at the technical name. It's Le Bomb. They're calling it Balm by La Mer. Now, we all know La Mer is a very high-end brand. If you want to get a moisturizer for your face, it's $200 to $400. Now, they're big. They're like my um, Chanel. They're about that big. They're very, they're, it's a lot of product. And apparently, they believe in their product. Um, they believe that they have a concoction that they have come up with, a a product that is unique <clears throat> compared to all of these. Of course, you ask Josie Marin, and she would tell you the same thing. And hers is Argon Oil. Theirs, they call, what do they call it? Not potion. What do they call it? Um, I forgot, but when I was reading on the site, oh, hold. I think I even kept the box. I did. I kept the box. There's the box that it came in. And what it says is, the lip balm, a luxurious and intensively reparative balm formulated with potent concentration of La Mer's Miracle Broth. Can you eat it? Drink it. Soothes on contact, softens roughness, and helps rejuvenate seriously dry lips. That's the box that came in. Here's the container it comes in. It's got that same little, oh, I just threw that. It just, it has that same little kind of swishy paint mark, only it's on metal. And this is, um, it's plastic. It says silver plastic. The bottom is plastic. I thought it might be glass. Um, so it's pretty packaging. It's not killer. Whereas like packaging wise, that looks very um, sophisticated and elegant with the little beaded work. This looks very unique with its little funky top. This looks very innovative and young. I don't like it. I guess because I'm old. And this looks certainly Chanel sophisticated. This looks like anything, but it's good. This looks like... I expected more from La Mer, y'all. I really did. This is the product. Inside, it is not only not vanilla, it's almost a clear white. So it doesn't have a creaminess, it's got a whiteness. Clearly has mint. It's not as greasy and it's not as riche. When you put it on, there is the, like, La Buxom, a sense of tingly, but I think it's probably less tingly and more of the mint would be what I think it is. How does it make me feel? I've only used it for a day. I use it all day at work because once my color goes at my desk, because I'm at my desk all day because of what I do, and... I just kept reapplying it to see kind of was it making me feel any more luxurious, and it didn't. Um, the one that really makes me feel luxurious is the Josie Marin, no joke. And the one that makes me feel really moisturized and kind of wet is this one. I would have never would have thought it was those, y'all. The La Mer is much more like the Chanel. They're not quite as greasy, and they're about the same size and about the same color. This does not have any mint to it at all. This definitely does have a mint, maybe even a eucalyptus. I don't know what all's in it. You could read up on it. But I do like it. I'm going to keep it. I accidentally brought, bought two, and I thought, should I keep one? Or should I keep them both in case I love this and let it run out? But I did just keep one. And by saying that, I mean I'm not that in love with it. Whereas one time I accidentally over-ordered on Chanel, and I kept both. I liked it that much. And no kidding, they're so similar. Um, if you like the mintiness of lip balms and you like that kind of feeling, 
none, none of the things that I've shown you so far are citrusy, just peaches and citrus. Um, so, I don't know, I guess out of all these products, and I don't have the camera to give you all the cool angles, but of all these products, I would say the best one for your lips is the Josie Marin Argan Oil. Second to that would be, believe it or not, this little tube of Dermot Store Lip Quencher. Um, it seems to be quite moisturizing. And third, the one that I like the best is the Chanel, but I would think the one that seems to be making more of a difference might be the Christian Dior because it's more rich, might be the La Mer because it actually has that mentholate on whatever. And I don't know if that's good for you or not. But um, I'm putting all of them in my little drawer. I have just, um, enough already, right? Just, I've done enough. So, let me put that there with my little candle. All right, one other product I wanted to tell you about that I got today. Um, well, actually, two. It's not a product. It's a tool. This is the Chanel number no. two um, blusher brush. And clearly, if you look at how it goes over the cheek, it's perfect for that. Now, really, you should never do it that way because you see it's right in the highlight area when you do it that way. You're supposed to turn it long and do it that way. And it's for blush. I'm using this for bronzer at Makeup by Tiffany D's suggestion with the Chanel, ah, I can't believe I didn't bring it in here with me, did I? I didn't, the Chanel bronzer, and I thought it was a powder, it's a cream, and you use, she says she uses this brush, it's their number two powder brush, and then it's perfect for it, it would be perfect for bronzer, but I don't like the Chanel product, it's very creamy, and when I put it on, it hasn't seemed to make much of a difference, now, one that does, this is Charlotte Tilbury, I've, I have hauled this before, it's the Film Star bronze and glow it's a beautiful rose gold packaging it's just very luxurious you know as you can see when you look at it there's the product a bronzer and a highlighter the highlighter is a champagne highlighter it's great the bronzer is a brown bronzer it's muddy so you have to be very careful about how much you use you do want to use kind of a brown tone under here right there i've got it right on the tip end and i'm going up That is nice. Again, I just dab it all the way to the tip, and then I turn this around, because I don't want to go this way, I want to go this way, and I go up. And then you can dust right at your temples, right at your hairline, right down to the tip of your nose. And people say, well, you should put highlighter in your nose. Not if you have a big nose, highlight brings it forward contour brings it back. I have a big nose, so I dust off the end. See, I'm just dusting straight across, maybe a little down. Kind of makes my nose tone down a little. Also, you can brush it here, right on the edge, on the fatty part of your under chin and on the edge. And if you've got a really long chin, then dust the end of your chin. And what does that do? It contours. Shadows, and then you can put blush right on the ball of your cheek and the upper part. Then if you want to, and if you're younger, you can use this highlighter right there. But when you're older, that's where you have the biggest wrinkles. So you don't want to highlight because that brings things forward into your attention. You don't want to bring into attention your wrinkles. So if you're going to highlight, if you're older, then put it right on either side of your nose and maybe right at the top down. Now, personally, I like to put my blush right on the bridge of my nose to look like I got some sun. But if you were going to, and if you want to use highlight, another way you can use highlight, if you're older, is put it right at the base, right under the contour, because that actually gives us older ladies a facelift, because it's bright right there. Gives you a facelift. Use a lighter product right here under your bronzer. And if you're, if you're going to blush, Right there on the ball of your cheek and low, right there. That's where you put blush on. And then go up, right into your bronzer so that it blends nicely. One of my favorite bronzers, that's a nice bronzer. One that I have found out is the perfect color. It's sort of like, I think it's called Rockstar and Benefit. And also, can't think of it. What's the other one? 
Oh, Nars Laguna. It's a little muddy like this film star is. Film star, what's it called? Film star bronze and glow for the ladies on the silver screen. I like this. This is Giorgio Armani. It is number one bronzer. This is actually a duo package. I think I've showed you this before. It is truly a kind of mauvey brown, but it's on the light side. So when I put this on, it is to me much less um, muddy. I'm going to have so much bronzer on by the time I'm through with this. Dust it in my nose. There. There. My chin and come down. Do you like it? Here's what's interesting about this palette. This is not why I bought it. It also has, oops, hold on, eyes underneath. Smoky eye. With two sponge applicators and mirror. This is a great compact to keep in your purse. Kind of has it all, but no blush. Um, then one of the uh, set of products I wanted to show you before I leave you is this was a tester product for Vanilla Co. Vanilla Company, and it is the It Radiant CC Cream from China. Don't confuse this with It Cosmetics, by the way. Uh, it's a whitening, moisturizing, radiant CC cream. And let me tell you about this product. Who was it? Cutie Pie Marzia. Tried it because you know she went to Japan and everything. Okay, there's the product. See it on? How it's white? She's very pale, so she said somebody finally got it right for her. I blended it in. Do you see? See the shiny? There is no coverage on this. It's like I can see straight through it. To me, if you have porcelain perfect skin, this might be great. I don't know. Doesn't feel good. I mean, it doesn't feel good. It's kind of sticky and muddy feeling. So I would say big. No, sorry. I hate to put a product down. Another product that I tried because it was a sample is this Full Exposure. That was a sample by Smashbox. And this is it. And the colors are um, matte on top, frost on the bottom, so I tried the matte. And they were okay. Now, here's the thing. This is, after all, just a test card. I don't think it gives a full feeling. I think you have to invest in the purchase. And if you see it in the store and you really like it and you swatch it by the sample that's in the store, the tester one, and you like it, I would get this because it's got some basic. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay basic um, naked palette. Little five color one. This reminds me of that. And it's almost like they're copying it because they know that obviously naked worked. Meaning what? These are brown tones, y'all. Brown tones look natural because we're not green and orange and yellow. We are brown toned. And at the very best, with some black hairs, we need the black color in there. You can see I used up, basically, I used up the highlighter, which is the vanilla color white, and the kind of taupey brown. And then on the highlighter, uh, I mean the shimmer colors, I haven't used them yet, but you can see they're basic. It's a vanilla honey um, highlighter shimmer, and then some medium browns and some darker browns and a very dark brown for using as a liner or a brow. And so I haven't seen this in store. I wasn't that impressed, but in all fairness, this is a card. So try it in store and see if you like it. So other than that, that's all I have to say. I wanted to give you one last review on the lip balms and a couple of new products and this brush that's so popular. Here, I will say this one thing about the Chanel brush. I have lots of brushes. This is much more luxurious than most of the brushes I have, and that includes my Sigmas, which I think are great. This is nice. It's dense, very dense, um, very dense and textured. So it's not bunny soft. It's not too soft. It's got enough texture to it, and it's a, it is a very thick and good, as you can see, um, powder. I mean, uh, tool for doing bronzer. 
I would not use this for blush. It's too big. But for bronzer, I do think it's very, very good. I think it's made for blush. Anyway, it's the number two Chanel. And um, it does make me kind of want to invest in looking at some other Chanel brushes. Like I really need brushes. Okay, well, um, so I think that's everything. And I hope that this was helpful to you. And I'll talk to you again in the next video. Please like this video because I'm a nobody. And I'm trying to get to be somebody. Maybe not. I don't know. That's a good thing. And everybody's like all into your business. Anyway, bye.